is Rachel and I'm here today to do a quick review of the graphic novels I've read this week. Um, I've read three so I'm just gonna do a quick run through of them. Um, yeah. Now the first one I read was Because of an Acorn by Lola M. Schaefer and Adam Schaefer and illustrated by Bren Preston Gannon. I would say this was more of a picture book than a graphic novel. Um, I gave it three stars because I guess it does do what it says on the tin and you know the, the drawings were absolutely beautiful. Um, it was very simplistic. I'd say it'd be good to read to a child um, learning to read or something like that. Um, but for me it was a bit simplistic but I did really 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 enjoy the artwork. So yeah, I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. The next graphic novel I read, which I thoroughly enjoyed, I gave 4 out of 5 stars and yeah, I really really enjoyed it and that was Amuse Ghosts by Vera Brosko. I'm not sure I've, whether I've butchered that or not, but yeah. Um, this graphic novel was really really good. I found it really um, relatable. Um, I'm someone who has very low self-esteem and has a really negative view of myself. So I had, like, I just found the view of Anya and the way she views herself as really well done. And I can understand that with a lot of people her age because she's in school. Um, and the drawings are really pretty and you've got um, things like this where she's having kind of a crisis of what to wear. Do I look fat? And things like that so it was really really good I really liked how it was like not colourful but there was like a, a hue of like a bluish hue to it I thought it was really really nicely done um and the story is about a girl called Anya she falls down a well and there's a body at the bottom of the well and she meets a ghost and it's about her relationship with the ghost and that sort of thing. I thought the message in this was brilliant and I thought it would just be really good for anyone like me who who is a bit negative about themselves because you kind of you get this ghost who's like trying to help her be more positive about herself and then you've got the way that she kind of starts to integrate into the things that she thinks are good and would make her popular but actually they're just she just doesn't really care about it um, and you kind of see how like people build things up in the head and make them seem amazing but actually um you know other people's lives aren't so amazing they might be the most popular girl at school but she might actually be having quite a horrible time so yeah I thought it was really really good and I gave it four out of five stars and I thoroughly enjoyed it the third book I read, I read because um, Mercy's Bookish Musings raves about this book and talks about how great it is as a graphic novel so um, I wanted to try it and see what it was like. I will link her review of it in the down by if anyone wants to go and check it out because it was really really good. Um, so yeah, um, and the book is Jane the Fox and Me by Fanny Britt and Isabel... Uh, Arsenal. I butchered that too. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed this graphic novel. Um, again, this is a bit like Anu's Ghost in that you get someone who has a very negative self view of themselves. She gets bullied at school and things like that, and you kind of go with her on her journey to try and get through it. Um, yeah, the drawings is absolutely beautiful in this book and a lot of it is black and white um, but then you get these like beautiful pages when she talks about um, Jane Eyre and they're in colour and they're just phenomenal, they're so beautiful. There's this phrase she keeps using where she's like, 
Jaina might have all these things, but at least she's not fat and a sausage and things like that. And you kind of realise how how a negative self view can really affect your life. And obviously it can affect your life, but it kind of changes everything about her and it affects every single aspect of her life. And you know, you've got bits like this where she's saying, I'm bigger, and they're like, of course you're bigger, you're growing, you're a child, like you're a young girl, you're a child, of course you're gonna grow, of course you're gonna get bigger. And it's just that sometimes when you have a negative self view, you kind of can't see past it to see that maybe it's not the most logical thing and maybe it's not something that's your fault. And I think it's quite easy to identify in this, which is quite good if you have a similar problem because you might be able to be like, okay, well, I probably do that in my life. So yeah, I give this five out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed this book um, and the artwork was fantastic. So yeah, they are the three graphic novels that I've read this week and yeah, if you've read any of them and want to chat about it, please comment down below. I would love to talk about them. Um, and thank you for watching. I will see you soon with another video. Bye!